Today's lesson is finding the whole given the part in the percent. After today, you will be able to solve problems involving finding the whole given a part and the percent. The equation we're going to use for our examples today is percent of whole equals part. For our example, we're finding 20% of what number is 13? Our percent would be 20% of represents multiplication. What number is the whole, and that's going to be a variable, we're going to use n in this problem, is stands for our equal sign, and then part would be 13. So we have 20% times n equals 13. We're going to change 20% to a decimal, and that would be 20 hundredths. So we have 20 hundredths times n equals 13. Now we need to divide both sides by 20 hundredths. So we get n equals 13 divided by 20 hundredths. Now we can divide 13 divided by 0 0.20. We're going to move our decimal two places to the right to make 20 hundredths a whole number. 1, 2. So we're going to do the same for 13. 1, 2. So now we're going to divide. 20 will not go into 1, and 20 will not go into 13, so we're going to do 20 and divide it into 130. 20 goes into 130 six times, and 6 times 20 is 120. When we subtract, we get 10. Now we're going to bring down our 0, and 20 goes into 100 five times, and 5 times 20 is 100. When we subtract, we get 0, so our answer is 65. n equals 65. Now we're going to have three additional examples. For each of these additional examples, you may pause the video and try it on your own, or you may follow along. Remember our equation is percent of whole equals part. For our first additional example, we have 25% of what number is 12? So that would be 25% times n equals 12. 25% as a decimal is 25 hundredths. So we have 25 hundredths times n equals 12. We will now divide each side by 25 hundredths. So we're going to have n equals 12 divided by 25 hundredths. And now we're going to divide that out. 12 divided by 0 0.25. We'll move our decimal two places, 1, 2. And also the same for 12, 1, 2. Now we're going to go ahead and divide. 25 will not go into 1, and 25 will not go into 12. So now we have to divide 25 into 120. 25 will go into 120 four times. And four times 25 is 100. Now we will subtract and we get 20. We will bring down our zero and now we're going to divide 25 into 200. 25 goes into 200 eight times. And 8 times 25 is 200. When we subtract, we get 0. So our answer is 48. n equals 48. For our second additional example, we have 10% of what number is 32? That's going to be 10% times n equals 32. 10% as a decimal is 10 hundredths, so we have 10 hundredths times n equals 32. Now we will divide both sides by 10, so we get that n equals 32 divided by 10 hundredths, and now we can divide that. 32 divided by 0 0.25 
0.10. We're going to move our decimal two places, one, two. So we'll do the same for 32, one, two. We will add in our zeros, and now we can divide. 10 cannot go into three, so we're going to have to divide 10 into 32. 10 goes into 32 three times, and three times 10 is 30. When we subtract, we're going to get two, and then we're going to bring down a zero. 10 goes into 20 two times, and two times 10 is 20. When we subtract, we get zero, and we still have another zero to bring down. 10 goes into zero, zero times, and zero times 10 is zero. We subtract and we're left with zero. So our answer is 320. So n equals 320. Now we have our third additional example. And we're trying to find 2% of what number is 4. We have 2% times n equals 4. 2% as a decimal is 2 hundredths. So we have 2 hundredths times n equals 4. We'll divide both sides by 2 hundredths. So we get n equals 4 divided by 2 hundredths. Now we can divide 4 divided by 0 0.02. We'll move our decimal over two places, 1, 2, to make 2 a whole number. So we'll do the same thing for 4, 1, 2. Two goes into four two times, and two times two is four. We subtract and we get zero, and now we bring down our zero. Two goes into zero zero times. Zero times two is zero. We subtract and we have zero. We still have another zero to bring down. So two goes into zero zero times and zero times two is zero. When we subtract, we get zero. We don't have anything left to bring down, so our answer is 200. So n equals 200. Don't forget to fill out your notes, and remember to watch the video again if needed.